Go, hey! Welcome to Tartaglia's Rod Shop. Enjoy the ride. So basically, uh, our objective uh, for the Nova project is uh, real simple. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, car apart, we're gonna pull the front suspension off, we're gonna upgrade that suspension, we're gonna use a uh, CPP products, uh, it's classic performance products, uh, front suspension clip, it's a Mustang II uh, styled suspension, it's gonna have a uh, coilover converted style front shock, so it's fully adjustable. We're gonna use a stock height spindle, uh, we don't want to drop the front end too far. Um, customer wants a uh, look of uh, more of an older school kind of setup, not a, a slammed or a lowered look. So that's good. That's a good thing. We're going to keep that style or that that ride height. Um, we're going to definitely be pulling the engine out to 350 small block Chevy. For what we know, uh, we don't really have a lot of information on it. So uh, I'm going to tear that apart, uh, completely strip the engine down spec everything out and uh, see what we're going to upgrade uh, most likely upgrade the uh, cylinder heads cylinder heads right now are a uh, steel uh, original styled somebody customized them but um, we're really not looking to reuse the steel head the uh, transmission that's a four speed muncie uh, that's all i know right now until i get it out i start running some of the numbers and pull all the gear sets out of it and uh, see what's up with that. It does leak a little bit, so we're concerned about uh, some of it. So we're, uh, you know, like I said, when we pull it apart, uh, once we have it apart, I can spec it out and uh, we can see what needs to be replaced. Uh, I can see uh, where we can do some upgrades. Uh, and then we can also run all the casting numbers off the uh, case um, and off also, you know, see what gear sets in it. Uh, see if everything's matching. Cause it, who knows, it might be a, a transmission that's, you know, uh, out of a pretty rare vehicle. Uh, it is possible considering it's a Muncie. So some of those were, um, you know, really, really um, rare as far as uh, some of the vet models, uh, as far as Corvette models. So, but other than that, uh, the car's in primer. Um, so we are gonna be sanding down a uh, car. We're gonna work it in any body work that has to be done. Uh, take care of all that. Uh, once we take care of all the body work, we're gonna prep it, get it painted, uh, we're probably going to be doing it in some kind of a uh, satin finish, uh, silver or gray metallic. Uh, we're not sure yet. Uh, we got to you know figure out with Mark what he wants to do on the color, but I have a few ideas already. So um, the interior is really good on the car. We're not touching the interior. Uh, it's actually a newer interior, original bench seat. Uh, it's a nice black, so everything is really nice. The rug's good. So as far as the interior, we're not touching it. Uh, we are going to be rewiring the car. Uh, it's a lot of the wiring that someone else put in or somebody else upgraded. Uh, it just, it's, it's not really the, you know, the greatest way or the way that um, I would do it. So we're going to remove all that, upgrade all that. The uh, electronics that were in the car, um, we have an MSD system that we're putting in it. Uh, MSD distributor, MSD, MSD uh, ignition system. So that's all getting wired in. Um, probably do a newer switch panel because right now it has kind of like a, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like a hokey setup. So really don't want to have that. So but that's really it. So the, the project, uh, you know, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start tearing it apart, pull the motor, pull the trans, and then uh, start ripping apart the front end, change out that uh, front, front clip. So. Hey everybody, um, just want to give you a little insight on the 66 Nova project. Uh, we have the entire front end torn apart. We have the new suspension already mocked up, which is awesome. Um, just trying to fit some of the uh, small panels like the inner uh, fender wells that they uh, provided us. Um, just, you know, kind of measuring up, making sure all the body panels fit, the fenders. Uh, because we're putting an aftermarket front suspension, onto a factory body, a lot of things don't line up. So um, not a big deal. Now as far as the engine, we actually tore it all apart. We spec'd it out. It actually has uh, some SRP forged pistons in it. It's got Eagle forged rods. 
Uh, it had a cast uh, steel crank, which uh, we are going to change. Uh, it's just not a strong enough crank for, uh, for the power that the motor should make. Uh, cylinder heads were thrown in the garbage. The, whoever did the heads, um, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but whoever did the cylinder heads and tried to modify the steel, um, cast steel heads, uh, they didn't really do a good job. Uh, there was an issue with the valve seals and the dual valve springs because the camshaft that's in it, we spec'd it out. It's an Iskandarian uh, flat tappet solid. Um, pretty good lift on it, probably like a 560 thousandths of an inch gross valve lift. So it's a pretty decent cam. It's like a 106 uh, center line. So as far as the power of the engine, the cylinder heads uh, required a dual valve spring because of the style of the cam. The valve springs were installed improperly, which was causing the valve seals to move and they came apart. So as this engine ran, it was basically leaking oil into the combustion chamber and on top of the piston. I mean, basically it's for its life of the engine, whoever built it. So that being said, those, those cylinder heads are getting thrown in the garbage and we're gonna put on a, um, we decided on a uh, Jegs brand uh, aluminum out of the box. Um, bolt-on cylinder head. Uh, reason we went with the Jegs brand is because their flow numbers are really good and the valve springs that we can get with them fully assembled will work with the cam that we have. So the spring rates are all you know all within the range. Um, as far as the flow numbers too, it flowed really well up to 600 thousandths of an inch lift. So with our cam being right around 550, 560, uh, that puts us in a good spot we can still use them. So we won't be uh, Pulling that, you know, putting that cam in a cylinder head combination where the cylinder head can't handle it. Um, as far as the pistons, we're, we're definitely reusing them. They're in great shape. The rods, great shape. We decided on the Eagle cast replacement crank. Now, you might be saying, why not go with a forged crank? The power that we're making doesn't really need to have a forged crank. The cast crank that's offered from Eagle has a really good nickel content and it's a lot stronger and a lot nicer than a stock cast crank. So it's a great replacement for the price. So we're doing it and that's what's getting put in it. Uh, as far as uh, intake manifold, we're gonna use the same one that came on it. It was a Wiend um, Team G, which is a single plane high rise. So I'm good with that. It'll be a perfect uh, RPM range. Uh, for what we're doing. And then uh, as far as anything else on the engine, we're reusing the oil pan, a um, lot of other things. So um, I'll get back to you when we start having some of the other parts, uh, you know, put on the car and get a little bit further and I can show you a little bit more on the engine too. And uh, also when we start taking the transmission apart. So uh, we're all done with tear down. So thanks for watching. Uh, we have some uh, new episodes coming up, some engine stuff, some transmission stuff. We got some brake stuff, and then we also got the front end that we're putting on. It's a new CPP Classic Performance Parts product that we use, the whole front clip, so you get to see all about that. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos, because uh, I think you'll be uh, you know, excited about those too, just like I am. We got some paint and body going on. Uh, we got some body panel repairs, fitting of the new parts, because as you know, aftermarket parts don't really mix with factory parts. So stay tuned. Click the bell, that way it gives you indication of new videos. Definitely subscribe and uh, like, comment. I'll try to respond as fast as I can. I appreciate it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Our tag is Rock Shop.